Yo, welcome back to Euro 2004. Group B is shaping up like this. Welcome to Cuibra. England will be glad to have gotten the worst part of the group out the way in the form of the European champions France and to have escaped without a loss. Surely it gets easier from here. They face Switzerland, who are doing worse than them. They lost to Croatia on match day one. England's only goal so far has come in the form of an own goal. The captain Beckham pulls it back to Steven Gerrard. Joe Cole, back to the Liverpool captain. Goes for it from range, but he hits the body. It's slowed down. Shapi sweats to Vicky. And Vicky is through, fires it right in the face of David James. And James punches. The right is Vassell. Owen, Vassell looking for the receiving pass. Black with Joe Cole dispossesses the defender. And he places it nicely. And it's the unlikeliest of goal scorers, it is Joe Cole. Chelsea's magic midget. He'll go on to be an integral part of the 2006 World Cup for England. Has opened the scoring here. Murat Yakin got all tangled up and Joe Cole severely punished him for it. Great start for the three Lions. Can they improve the scoreline from here? Back Frank Lampard, now Steven Gerrard powering past Vogel. No cross into the box for Sells there and the shot is blocked crucially by Yakin. Phil Neville to his mate David Beckham, nice. Trademark cross from Bex. And he's hit the woodwork. Horrifying denial from Darius Vassell to make history. Huggle to Hakin Yakin. Great first time strike and is now standing safe. Good ball from Owen who's just one step ahead of the defender and he takes it past him. Oh, and he pulls it wide right before the end of the first half. Slightly more promising display from England. Pudel pulls it back to Vogel. David James concedes the corner. Joe Cole, the goal scorer, looking for Frank Lampard. Takes the first time but skies it. Right, Yakin once again dispossessed. The referee says no foul and Owen looking for a chip. Oh, and he finds the roof of the net. Michael Owen looking for 18 year old Wayne Rooney. He is surely through and it's a one handed save by George Steele. Fry, now Vogel. Joe Cole trying to cover. Big long ball in for Vogel. Misses wildly. Oh my days, astonishing. England are blushing. They are left as red faces to Swiss shirts. Hacken Yakin draws level. But it's inadvertent. David James, or Calamity James, is the belligerent just as England took the lead against Forestry to a mishap. They have conceded their lead against Switzerland. Business is picking up. No ball across the box and Looney scuppers it. Heartbreaking miss. Fly. And that is the last strike of the game in England. Still yet to find their feet here in Portugal. Joe Cole open the scoring. Hacking Yakin with the phantom equaliser. Switzerland 1, England 1. Reigning champions France will be keen to prove that this tournament will not repeat of the 2002 World Cup. Not an ideal start against England, but it's far from the worst. Croatia, the group leaders, will be keen to keep their momentum going in this rematch of the France 98 semi final. Pires, Vieira, Zinedine Zidane finds David Trezeguet, he fires it, and we are off to a flyer. The man who scored the golden goal at Euro 2000 breaks the deadlock against Croatia at Euro 2004. It's a textbook finish from the Juventus frontman. David Trezeguet set up by Zinedine Zidane. It's textbook, takes a touch, has a strike, finds the back of the net. The other. Looking for Henri. Now David Trezeguet has three men to one. Henri makes a breaking run and he's through. And converts 2-0 to the European champions. The Arsenal legend Thierry Henry has doubled their Blues lead here on match day two. Not the greatest goalkeeping in the world, but the French shall not complain. Thierry Henry scored three goals in Euro 2000. Willie Sagnol 
Fines looking for a third before half time. Patrick Vieira doesn't get enough venom on it. Tudor over the top to Sokata. Oh, and Fabian Bartes comes off his line nicely. Corner to Croatia. Ball comes in and David Pearsall is there with the most ventral of headers from the corner. Off the crossbar and Pearsall, quite frankly, could not give a damn. It's game on here in the era and the Rangers striker practically punches Fabian Bartes for blinking. Sokotov over the top to Pearsall once again. Horrible defending from Turam and Pearsall converts. Man of the minute. Pulls a goal back. One minute into the second half and ten minutes later, resets the scoreline. Lillian Turam trying to play Pearsall offside, but it's about a decade too late. Perhaps waiting for Pearsall is on a brace. And the European champions are left looking at each other, trying to figure out what went wrong. It's Babic. Sokota. It's back to Babic. The French card dispossessed the Croatians. Henri knocks it down to Zinedine Zidane. And now a counter-attack is about to emerge. And Thierry's on. Thierry on his pass. Robert Kovac. Through a goal, surely. Pulls it back to David Trezeguet. Yeah, he skies it. We have in stoppage time. It's Luis Saha. Looking for one last hurrah. And it's clear to safety, the game is over. On the half hour mark, it looked like France were beginning to find their rhythm. David Pilsa became the one man hero, dragging Croatia back into a draw. It's France 2, Croatia 2. Two points to go around on match day two in Group B. Croatia astonishingly remain at the top of Group B, who England ideally need to beat to qualify for the quarterfinals. Thank you for joining us as always on this Diary of a Tournament. Euro 2004 is a precious memory of mine. Thank you for the support on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on the Twitter. Let me know your predictions for how you think England is going to fuck this up or is the best yet to come for France. In the next episode is Italy versus Ibrahimovic. 